Hello! Recently, I was rendering some videos in Sony Vegas 12, and I did some batch rendering, um, and I can, I'll, I'll do a video on batch rendering and how do you do that and how to set it up so that you can do things a little bit easier a little bit later, but in this case, I wanted to take care of something. This had happened to me on both batch rendering and non-batch rendering, and I went to bed, I batch rendered, because I do a lot of batch rendering and then go to sleep, and that allows me to do, not have, take up my computer while I'm you doing while I'm actually could be using it to edit or play the play games or do whatever it is I'm going to be doing with it. And I woke up and this is what I saw. I saw my batch rendering had produced what looked like two usable videos and three things that four things that were that were not usable. Now what you'll notice here is if you look at the file type, the extension is it forgot to remove the .tmp, and so what you'll find is you, you click on here, and there it won't show a file type. By the way, there I'll show you how to show the file type so you can see, because sometimes, occasionally, it will name them .mp4, .tmp, or .whatever extension, .tmp, and it adds the .tmp, so it's all you have to do to fix that, if it did the complete rendering, is just remove that, it'll give you the warning, and say, okay, this might make become unusable. In this case, just say yes, and my video was right there. It was fine. If you double-click it before that, it'll just say, I don't have a program that I can use that with. Now, as we go to the .tmp, just take those off, and I was able to get all my videos, and I didn't have to re-render, and that saved me a ton of time, and I figured I would let you guys know this is a bug that I know exists in Sony Vegas 11 and Sony Vegas 12, Sometimes it'll also put an extension of .tmp and, and no .mp4 or .avi or whatever output file you specified, in my case, mp4. And one of the things you can do, that the thing that kind of led me to find this was I had gone over and I had just moused over and you'll notice that there's no file extension here. So it just says, you know, what my what my renderer was, and the title, which I accidentally forgot to put a title in because I was in a hurry that night. And it comes out with no extension, but if you look on this one, you'll notice it says .mp4.tmp. Now that's because Windows, by default, has a setting in here under File and Search Options. And if you go under View, you'll notice there's this file, Hide Extensions for Known File Types. Now since it knows MP4, you can uncheck that, by the way, and then it'll show them all. But since it knows MP4 as a known file type, it didn't show anything here. But when I go over here, it was showing me .tmp.mp4, and I knew. It also showed me on one that I rendered straight out .tmp. So if it does that, either .tmp or .mp4.tmp or .avi.tmp, whatever your output was, is the first one. If it doesn't show your output, if it just says .tmp, you may try just putting in a .tmp whatever the file type you used. In my case, if it just said CBR 10K, you know, dot .tmp, I would just change that to dot .mp4, and it may work. In this case, I got lucky, and it did work, and from what I've seen, this is a fairly... It's not a common issue with Sony Vegas, but it does happen upon occasions, and when it does happen, if usually if you just change that extension, the dot .tmp to the proper extension... Or, chain, or erase the .tmp if there is a proper extension for mp4 or avi there, then your video will be fine, and you won't have to re-render it, and that should save you a little bit of time, and hopefully make it a little bit easier on you. And if it does happen, the only reason I was able to find it in my particular case was is that it rendered part of the files and renamed them correctly, but it didn't rename the other part correctly. So that gave me a clue that there was something there, and then by just going through and looking at the file extensions, you'll notice it doesn't say anything now because it's a known file type. And as soon as I saw the .tmp, .mp4, I just erased that and tried that, and it worked perfectly. So hopefully, this is if you run into this problem, this will take care of your issue as well. If it does, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. If it doesn't, and you run into a different problem, especially with batch rendering, let me know. I haven't run into a lot of problems with batch rendering, but every once in a while I've had it either not save the files, or in this case, forget it didn't rename the files after it was done saving them. So... Uh, hopefully that helps you out. Like I said, if it did, let me know down below. If it didn't and you have a different solution that did help you out, also let me know down below and have a great day, everyone.